Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got this Acer 15 inch laptop. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little video just to show you how to open up, get the hard drive out, and put a new 2.5 inch SATA SSD. Nothing real special. Uh, I will just do a clean install when I'm done. I'll put the drive in. I won't bore you with that. You can check out some of my other videos that, uh, that I have where I do tons of that type of stuff. Um, but this is an Acer Aspire. They call it an E15 series. The exact model is E557453QS. Like I said, it's 15.6. It's got a sixth generation Core i5. And there are a lot of pictures on the existing hard drive. I'm going to save those for the customer. Um, so, anyway, I'm just going to flip it over and show you what to do. It's got a lot of screws you got to take out. Unfortunately, there's a crap ton of them, especially around these in the back here. Uh, they should all be the same length, same type of screws. So I'm just going to start taking out screws. I'm going to use a number uh, number one Phillips tip, magnetic tip screwdriver. I'm going to take this one out here first so I can slide the optical drive out. That's just going to release like that. If it doesn't come out easy, don't tug on it too hard. You'll rip the faceplate off. Just use like a paper clip to put in the little eject hole here. Oop, where you can get it where you can get a hold of it usually got to have it kind of straight though just like that all right so I'll get that out of the way but um, once you take the optical drive out there's going to be three little very short little flathead screws right here here and here so I'm going to use a number zero Phillips on those you don't want to booger up those heads I got tons of extras laying around in case I did mess one up. I got more. Just get those out. You can see they're quite quite small there. So we'll get those out and then we're just gonna go around the board here and start taking out screws basically. I can take longer just to get the screws out and put them back in than it does do anything inside. This laptop's been sitting around for a period of time and somebody else in the family is going to want to start using it. So it's a little slow with just, uh, it's got four gigabytes of memory, I believe it's DDR3 and that Core i5. It's not too bad, but putting an SSD in is going to make a huge difference. More usable. And like most people, they just wanted to go with the 250 gigabyte. You could easily put in a 500 or a 1 terabyte if you wanted to. Now this screw... Oh, no, never mind. I already took that one out. My bad. So I'm just going to keep going around the board here, guys. Get all these screws out. But you can see it bites the screw really, really good there. The number one. All right, well, I have to dip into my can of spares. All right, so we got, got all the screws out. And once I button it back up, you know, put the bottom back on and whatnot. I'm not going to put all the screws back in until I know that my install and everything went okay. But there's a seam right along here. You can see where the gray and the black kind of meet together here. That's where we're going to get our spudger tool with the famous blue triangle spudger tool here. I'm just going to pop it in here. Be careful over here where the card reader is. I'm just going to start sliding that in there. Hopefully. Gotta get it started. I know you guys can't see. Sorry. Ah. Try to get in the corner right here. There we go. All right, I got the corner started here. You can see here. Hopefully, right here. Getting them started sometimes is the hardest part. You just done so many thousands of these over the years. Everyone's a little different than the last one. 
got to be patient. And always remember, always remember, you got a screen on the bottom side of the of your lid there. Don't want you pressing and pulling and all that kind of stuff. Just be conscious of that. I'm just getting in this corner here, so you can see how I got it. Kind of good start here, but over on that other side, usually, you no, know, actually, yeah, see, it's it's wrapped around that VGA port there and the HDMI and the Ethernet and the two USB ports there. So we're going to try to work it up from this side over here, guys. If we can get my other little tool here on the back. Get it popping loose there. Always be careful how far you. <clears throat> poke your tool in there. There it goes. But they're pretty much now on these <clears throat> right here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's a cable right here. We got to disconnect for the speaker. The speakers are mounted here and here. So if you don't want to rip it off. You can see there's not a lot of extra wire on that speaker wire there. So I'm going to pop that out of the connector there just like that. Okay. Like I said, here's the battery. Um, God, it's actually, actually quite clean in there, very clean. It's got four gigs of DDR3, PC3L. Wouldn't, wouldn't hurt to have eight in there. But here's the hard drive we're gonna pop out and put the SSD in there. Uh, give me just a quick second. I'd like to, give, give me just a second. I got a four gig stick, PC3L, the SK Hynix, the exact same thing that's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a free RAM upgrade. It's got an i5. I didn't disconnect the battery. Just be careful, don't, don't touch anything you don't have to, guys. Um, if you wanna disconnect the battery, this cable right here just pulls back, quite, comes out quite easy um, if you wanted to, but just be careful if you don't. So here's the hard drive. It looks like it's just going to be a friction fit in there, so to speak. So I'm going to jiggle it up here. <clears throat> oops, can, oops, sorry, my bad. It just kind of it's kind of pressed in there. <clears throat> I'm just going to pull it back away from the motherboard. Pretty much that easy. And <clears throat> I'm putting in the Crucial MX500 series. All right, so I got the hard drive out. It just pops right out of this caddy here, pretty straightforward, just like that, no screws. So I got to hang on to that, because obviously I'm going to get all the pictures off it, like I was saying earlier. And we're just going to put this back in there the same way. Oops. Almost the same way, Dale. Sorry about the interruptions there, guys. It's just been, like I said, I wasn't open yesterday. I'm a little more busy than normal for a Wednesday. So I just pinched it back in the little bracket here. And I'm just gonna slide it back in. Pretty straightforward. Just presses down in there, no screws. So get the cover back on, it's gonna kinda hold it in place. But I gave them an extra four gigabytes RAM, so now they're gonna have eight gigs of PC3L, DDR3L memory, which is nice. It is absolutely clean as a whistle, so I'm not concerned about that. So now I'm just gonna put this back on. Sometimes this is a little tricky here. First thing I have to do is hook up Mr. Speaker here, right here. Let me turn around so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. I've got to hook the speaker cable back up. And yes, in the past I put these back on and forgot to hook up the speaker wire. <laughs> Yay! Just plugs in. Be really careful; those wires are super, super tiny and thin, easy to break. So now we're going to finagle this back over here. So you can see over on this side here, it doesn't just pop down over. You have to kind of do it. I'll show you here. Just kind of jiggle it into place here. You can't, you can't see that, sorry. So there. You just want to make sure it's over these ports. Like that, okay? Just got to be, don't want to damage the ports there. So that one actually went on pretty easy. I've struggled with some of these before in the past. 
Pretty simple video, guys, but I just want to show you how to get into this bad boy. Just going to gently get it almost in place. But I'm not going to put all the screws back in until I get the windows installed, just to make sure. However, I'm going to put the optical drive and the screws back in. Pretty straightforward. I don't think we're going to have any issues. Make sure you smash the like button and the subscribe button. And then and the little bell so you can get notified of my new videos. I appreciate all my subscribers very much. Put that back in. I might as well put a screw in there too as long as I'm at it. like that. Like I said, I will put all the screws back in once I'm done here. I'll go ahead and pop in my flash drive just for grins. Don't put it in the HDMI port, Dale. Now on these, if it's enabled, F12 should give us the uh, boot menu. Uh, it might take a minute for it to post, assuming the battery's charged. Yes, it is. Because I put that new RAM in there. Got to be patient here. I can <laughs> got a UPS store right next door on the other side of the wall there, and all day long, all you hear is that tape gun going just 90 miles an hour. Taping boxes all day, every day. <laughs> kind of blank it out after a while, but sometimes when it's quiet, it just drives me nuts. Come on, thing. Waiting for a post. Come on. Pretty sure the battery's going to be fine. <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and plug in the cord just to make sure here, guys. That's the problem, but who knows? <sighs> yeah, let's hold it in and might have to try a different stick of RAM. It's trying. Come on, Acer, keepers. Not posted. Shouldn't be doing that. It's not beeping at me either. Interesting. Gotta hold on me. Well, see, I. Did not put all the screws back in for a reason. Troubleshoot, come on, just post. That's just got a weird glare on the screen there, sorry. <laughs> yeah, while well, that's doing that, let me see. Wheel. We got here. All right, it's not what you want to see. Let's do a hard shutdown on it real quick here, guys. The doctor's gonna have to go back in. Pretty bugger.
quick, quick. Quickity, quick, quick. And for some reason, I don't think it likes that stick of RAM. Pretty sure it's the exact same that was in there. Let's see. Should come off easier the second time, right? <laughs> speaker wire. Come on. Get up there. All right, let me flip it around. Yeah, I don't have that. Shoot, I'm gonna have to unplug that again. Don't wanna put a lot of pressure on that speaker wire. So carefully, hmm, interesting. Let's try this one. Didn't like it. Exact same thing, exact same thing. Same sticker, all that fun stuff. Got a good click, good quickity quick. I know it supports eight gigs of RAM for crying out loud. <clears throat> Taking this wire out too much. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky and get to go back on easy the second time. Come on, get under there. The USB port over here. Arg. Went right on the first time. There we go. Come here. All right, I'm not even gonna put the CD-ROM drive back in it this time. See if we can get a post. Posty toast. Try that again. There we go. Didn't like that stick of RAM. There's our flash drive. We do our clean install, Windows 10. Now yeah, give that to the recycle bin. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it go ahead and boot out the flash drive here, guys. Put my optical drive and all my screws back in there once that's done. Get all the updates, throw a browser on it. Go in here real quick, make sure it sees our SSD. Yeah, going from a hard drive to an SSD, what a huge difference. Got two more behind me here that I'm doing the same thing to. SSD upgrades. One's a one terabyte. And there's our SSD. So I'm going to go ahead and start the clean install here, guys. Like I said, check out my landing page on YouTube, my home page. I got tons of videos on Windows installs and SSD ins installations. Give me a like, subscribe. I would appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.